Okay, so my friend just said a little crazier is better. So I'm gonna <laughs> leave my hair. So I'm at the Starbucks here in Bixby and I ran into my good old dear friend. Old? Did she say old? Vintage. <laughs> She's my vintage friend. Okay, vintage. Yeah, and you know, um, back when we were at Century 21 and then Nationwide, she would do my files for me. And it's something that I fought for a really, really long time is to delegate because you know if you're if you're doing like if you're like messing with everything you're cons you're telling yourself I'm in the office I'm doing my paperwork and that's working but it really wasn't and um, so when I was there she really saved me <laughs> saved me because not only are the forms constantly changing and every time there's a lawsuit we get another form because we are in California um, but Bree is a transaction coordinator now at Nationwide Real Estate and I you guys know of course that I'm at Westwood but we all like we see each other we miss each other we've got that common bond of Century 21 action so I thought I would let her tell you in her own words how many times that she's saved me or what your job actually is. <laughs> ah, the joy of watching Maria get her check for the first time <laughs> was just, it just, okay, it what made does that me mean? feel so good. That just means that she never had her paper get, paperwork together. Now, let me clarify something. I am a realtor as well. Yes. But I found that I was pretty good at doing the paperwork and it keeps me sharp mm -hmm. for my clients. So I started doing transaction coordinating just for a couple of, of agents in the office, just because I was sitting there anyway. And uh, I found that Maria was not getting her checks. And one time she asked me, Bree, why you don't you get your check, Bree? What, what, for what reason would someone hold your check? She asked me to clean up a file for her so she can get her check. So I cleaned up one file. <laughs> oh my God, I should have charged her triple. It was a hot mess. But Aww. the joy of her being able to get her check and getting her checks after that was just made me feel really good. But it's really important to really manage your files properly to protect your clients, to protect everybody involved in that. You do your part because you don't want to be in court. And you want to make sure that your buyers or sellers recommend you over and over and over again. It's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. So I highly recommend that you either study transaction coordinating yourself. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> but you just really have to be on top of your file and make sure that you are taking care of your clients by reading the fine print and now I know it like the back of my hand so I only have to pay attention to things that come in that say something different than we're used to and when that stands out then it ding 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 right so back in the day everything was printed out correct mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now um, it's all just uploaded and people digital, can just have a CD. Digital, digital, digital. What, okay, tell me, maybe you can tell me tell the me difference. Um, what's the difference between disclosures that we should get and ones that we definitely have to get and why, how does that protect your buyer and your seller? Well, there are some that you absolutely have to have. You have to have things like transfer disclosure you have to have things like a seller property questionnaire. So you, this is like when the when a seller is selling their property, you as a buyer have a right to know anything that they know. And if they don't put that down on the paperwork, eh, that could be trouble and that could end you up in court. Gotcha. So whether I have the seller, whether I have the buyer, I make sure that if it's a seller, they write everything to the best of their ability that they can remember. Because a buyer has a right to know and you have the, uh, you have the, what should we say? You have the... Gumption. Yeah. <laughs> You're the sound, right? You should right? be ethical <laughs> enough. Yes, exactly. <laughs> to write down everything that you know about that property that you're selling to someone. What would you say is the biggest problem in, where do you see the problems happen between buyer, seller, buyer's agent, seller's agent? Where do you see problems when there are some? Oh my gosh, so many boxes not checked and that can, yeah. that can put you in court if you go to do an AVID which stands for agents visual inspection disclosure aren't I so good at that Maria's fantastic at it. <laughs> you're so sweet I love you Brie. okay listen <laughs> you this means that the agent has actually walked through that property 
So you want to make sure that the agent has walked through and written down anything that they see. Now, we're not going to open cabinets or anything like that, but we are going to say spot on wall, crack right. on wall. We might not know what it means, but it's going to prove that we as an agent actually, actually walked sure. that buyer through that, that makes property. Sense. That makes sense. Now, that you talked about this transfer disclosure because I heard a story, and, and you can confirm or deny, that if the transfer disclosure statement, which we call, we lovingly call the TDS, um, is not filled out, signed, and received by the buyer before the close of escrow or three days before the close of escrow, I've heard it can be all unraveled. Is that oh, absolutely can. possible? It absolutely Holy mackerel. Can because a buyer has five days after receiving that, and if they want to pull out, they can. Wow. So five days, they have to be able to review that, to review sure. all the disclosures. Sure, sure, sure. Because that can make the difference if they want that house or not. Right. You know? And what about, we'll let that truck go by. What about um, things, how difficult it is. Let's say you have an inexperienced, you're, let's say you're representing my buyer and you're trying to get, or actually even your buyer, right? And you've right. got all the forms because you're really good at it, but you have an, an inexperienced or someone who just doesn't care, seller's agent on the other side, do you help them out with those? Well, I'm constantly sending things back because yeah. this is the thing, I don't want to choose answers for them. That'll yeah. certainly land me in court. So I send things back when they're not complete. I check them over before my buyer signs them. Gotcha. And the seller just has to complete. They get a little irritated the least listing agent because sometimes they can get a little lazy maybe sure but I have to send them back and I have to have them fill it out before I have the buyer sign it so let's say you're representing a seller and they have to fill out all these forms do they feel a little overwhelmed how important is it that we assist them in filling out these forms absolutely now when I go to a seller's house to do a marketing um, uh, analysis for uh -huh. them yeah and if they're gonna give me the listing then I'm gonna bring out all the paperwork they have to sign. Now they may get a little overwhelmed, but I give it to them in bits and pieces. I'll tell them oh, what smart. I need first okay. in order to even put that listing on the market to gotcha. get buyers there. Then I'll tell them what I need second and I need every box filled out. I'm not gonna fill it out for them. I'm not gonna, I, but I, I will sit with them and say, ah, you missed a box and read the question for them. Perhaps. Gotcha, yes. gotcha. No, that makes a lot of sense. Well, um, I'm. I was so happy to run into you, and I'm so excited to see you, and I miss you. And Thanks for the coffee. Oh, no. you're welcome, freaking complicated, <laughs> hot, today. three shot stevia, whatever the heck that was. <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on the sugar. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, because you because of the whole sugar thing. Yes. Um, okay, it's I'm like gonna... a lot of good information, and yeah, <laughs> it, it just needs you guys to know that we don't sell you the house, fill out the purchase contract and then two three weeks later we get paid all of the day no yeah. it is a lot of work that goes into uh, protect protect being your protect. agent yes oh this is better this oh is yeah the thing without the uh, chin yeah uh -huh, disclose okay. disclose disclose <laughs> yeah <laughs> well definitely. here's here we are two uh sage vintage agents um <laughs> Whatever you need, ebony and ivory yes. living together Woo. in perfect harmony. Yes, yes, um, yes. <laughs> just give us a call, and Bree and I, or Bree and not I, um, <laughs> will make sure that you're protected. Because, Absolutely, um, you we know, will take care of you. That's our job. Remember, Jim used to say because the files got thicker, 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 and they were stored above our meeting room. Right. He goes, right. one of these days we're gonna be in the meeting, and it's just the files are. <laughs> But at least now it's like a disc or a, it's not even a freaking Right, disc most anymore. of it's digital. I can still give you hand copies if you need if it. You if you want. like paper, mm -hmm. no worries. But right. we will have it both ways, paper and digital. Sounds For you millennials awesome. out there. What is that? I'm not millennial. Gonna, I don't a millennial. I'm millennial. Do you know what I discovered on Thanksgiving? What? Okay, so my neighbor's mother, so my neighbor's my friend, and my neighbor's mother and her husband came down. <laughs> he found out we're both baby boomers. <laughs> Because I was born in 1963 and that was like the last year of the cut off. I'm like, okay, your mom and I are the like, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, boomer. All right. Well, thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I know. The daily struggle will be I long, know. girl. Yeah. All right. Love you, Bree. All right. Black girl magic. <laughs>